Right, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction. Today, we have Why is Cyprus Divided? I had no clue it was divided, so this is going to be a really interesting video. This is from History Matters. They do dope-ass short videos, so but yeah, let's get into this one, man. Countries and being split into two. Name a more iconic duo. And whilst Germany, Ireland and Korea are the most often discussed, another country with such a divide is Cyprus, which, since the 1970s, has been divided into two parts or three if you count those that still belong to Britain. In the south sits the Republic of Cyprus, recognised by everyone, and right. in the north lies the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, which is recognised uh, only by Turkey. And this state of affairs raises an obvious question. What caused this to happen? Why is Cyprus divided? Wait, what so part is Britain? Cyprus was split, it was a British colony, which they had acquired from the Ottomans in 1878. Of and many of those living there were Greek Cypriots, most of whom wished to unify with Greece in a process known as Anosis. However, that's not how empire works, and the British opted to ignore them because Cyprus's position was far too valuable to them. Many decades later, like most British colonies in the wake of the Second World War, Cyprus and its people pushed for independence. In the mid-1950s, Greek Cypriots began an armed campaign which wanted to end British rule there and unify the island with Greece. Of course, the British were <laughs> I love how it just like went instantly back to them. ...to accept these demands, and just kidding, they teamed up with the Turkish Cypriots to fight back and in the end settled on giving Cyprus its independence. And Britain preferred an independent Cyprus that wasn't a part of Greece since it wanted military bases there as a forward base for the Middle East. Cyprus, as a small new nation, could be coerced into agreeing to this in return for the end of British rule, whereas Greece was a much larger established country that would be able to resist. After the British had left the island, well, mostly, tensions rose between the Greek and Turkish population there. One of the conditions of Cypriot independence was that the Turkish minority's rights would be respected. And also, it was agreed that no one would push for a union with either Greece or Turkey, nor try to partition the island. And Greece, Turkey and Britain all agreed to uphold this status. Despite the agreement, Bro, many- Turkey? I, I forget, like, Turkey's that far away from the UK. I, but I always thought like, that like, Turkey was, like, closer, like, just, like, you know, Closer than this. The Greek Cypriots, including President Makarios, felt that the Turkish were overrepresented and so wanted that changed. Shockingly, the Turkish Cypriots didn't want this and so, a decade of impasse. In 1974, feeling that Makarios wasn't doing enough, a group of Anosis backing Cypriots aided by the dictatorship in Greece launched a coup. Makarios fled and Nikos Samson was placed in charge and made it clear that he was going to unify Cyprus with Greece. And now, the Turkish government was concerned for the welfare of Turkish Cypriots who were subject to growing violence and so asked Britain to help them intervene. And the British said no. And for Tuck. this, they had two reasons. The first was that they were too busy being poor. And the second was that those in government, above all else, wanted Sir. to keep their military bases. And thus, by not picking a side, it was hoped that they could leverage the fact that they didn't oppose the eventual winners to keep their territory on Cyprus. As a result, Turkey opted to proceed alone. Makes Turkish sense. troops landed here and they very quickly and easily pushed Greek Cypriot forces back across the island. This was condemned by the United States, who didn't want two NATO members going to war and breaking the alliance, but generally most countries were sympathetic to the Turkish. All of this embarrassed the military government in Greece and fears over all that war led to the collapse of the regime there. Whilst the Greeks were busy becoming a democracy again, the Turkish opted to push- Yeah, if there was a part of NATO, why couldn't I just sit down and like, sort it out instead of like, actually going to war about it, you know what I mean? Like, surely they'd all have like a team meeting and further a group meeting. At this point, the rest of the world turned against Turkey, since this was now seen as little more than territorial expansion. As such, the Turkish, British and Greek governments met to end hostilities and a ceasefire was agreed. The Turkish military stayed in the lands that it had taken, and the United Nations would construct a demilitarized zone running across the island. And it was hoped that with the Greek back coup over and the violence diminishing, Turkey would leave, but fun fact, no. Instead, the Turkish created the Turkish Cypriot administration, which would run the territory the Turkish had captured. And in the wake of the creation of this administration, many Greek Cypriots were forced out of their homes and cleared from the north. And in the south, many Turkish Cypriots were also made unwelcome and forced to head north. And in 1983, the Turkish Cypriot government there made a unilateral declaration of independence, which was condemned by everybody except for Turkey, Pakistan and Bangladesh. And the last two were soon pressured into withdrawing their support, leaving only Turkey supporting the north. But irrespective of international support, the island still remains divided to this day. Turkey has this, Cyprus has this, right? And then the UK just has this tiny part here. <laughs> <laughs> what is that just for that fucking military base? Hell yeah, it's divided three ways, man. Oh my god, what the fuck? Support the island still remains divided to this day. Fair enough. I Holy hope you shit, very interesting. Uh, really good video from History Matters again. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next.